Hey everyone, how you doing? This is Ron with Tech Tips to Go. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to restore your Nano Ledger S to a Nano Ledger X. And this applies to the same thing if you wanted to do it vice versa, if you had a Nano Ledger X and you wanted to back it up to a Nano Ledger S. But uh, mind you, if you have enough storage on your Nano Ledger S, because the difference between the Nano Ledger S and the Nano Ledger X is that the Nano Ledger S can hold, sorry, the Nano Ledger X can hold more um, unique coins or tokens, right? So different applications, so more storage is available on the Nano Ledger X. So keep that in mind, but if you only have a few coins and uh, backing them up to each other is no problem. So this applies to whether you're backing it up from one device to another whether you're going from nano ledger s to a nano ledger x or or vice versa or if you're just using it as a backup or if you actually lost your device and you need to restore it so as long as you maintain proper keywords your seed phrases um, you could always restore it from anywhere you are as long as you have another nano ledger s or something compatible that um, you can restore let's say the, the, your erc20 tokens etc but if you had bitcoin and you need to restore it from that ledger um, i would recommend just getting a nano ledger s ordering one online from i i don't like to order nano ledgers from amazon i like to order it directly from ledger itself so i'll leave a link in the description below so you know that they are referred links from me and trusted links so let's get into the video so i'm gonna leave this link here and this link actually goes through the whole step and the whole process of everything you need to do to restore your private keys to restore your phrases etc so um let me just show you here and i'm just gonna go through a brief explanation so you can kind of get the gist of what i'm doing um, as long as you have your seed phrases so whether it was 12 18 or 24 you are able to restore that from any nano ledger device okay all you need to do is restore your your recovery phrase and here are the steps so it's pretty easy you restore your recovery phrase okay so those whether it's 18 or 24 uh, you choose your pin code and then you enter your recovery phrase and then that's it it's pretty straightforward so i'm going to kind of go over this with you so let's just open this so this is a very key important part i'm not going to go over how i do it or how i've guided people uh, this is kind of going to be in probably one of my paid courses that i have to how to properly um, set your recovery phrase how to store it in the event that you lose it or where to store it etc and how i store it whether i um, write them all down etc so i'm just going to go over exactly what you should be doing now on how to restore it or how to back up from a nano ledger s to a nano ledger x and vice versa so the first thing you want to do is when you got your nano ledger s or x you wrote down 24 um words right okay so this is very important. If you've lost these seed phrases, these words, um, your SOL, meaning your, you've, you've lost your tokens, whatever is in it, your Bitcoin. Plain, simple, they're gone. Uh, if you don't have these, these 24 keys. And the reason why, so I would say the next best wallet after the ledger, and if you wanted a soft wallet, not a cold wallet, I would say it's the atomic wallet. Uh, the atomic wallet is great, but if you know how to manage your wallet properly and securely there's a number of ways of doing it because the problem that I see most people doing on an atomic wallet is they'll have the same email accessible through one passcode so if someone ever gets your phone and it's unlocked or they have access to your phone usually your Gmail is open and it's left open without doing without doing any sign on it as long as they got your passcode to your main phone so they could do a lot of recovery, like recover from email, et cetera. And then you also have Google Authenticator as long as they have that passcode. So there's a lot of stuff that I go through. Um, this is gonna kind of be in my paid course, but if you manage your keys fine in Atomic Wallet and you lock your phone down, you disable uh, Face ID, et cetera, on Atomic Wallet, um, plus three more things, then you should be okay. But anyways, that is the second best wallet I would say that's after the the Nano Ledger S because the Atomic Wallet is free as well as the support is really great with Atomic Wallet. With Atomic Wallet, if you have any questions, whether you're transferring, you're buying, etc., 
I've worked with support in their chat and they usually get back to you within less than an hour. And, and I've done it, I've done it through like one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock in the morning, etc. So anyways, let's get back to this recovery phrase. You want to make sure that you have this. If you don't have it, um, you're pretty much screwed. So the first thing you want to do is it's going to ask you, do you want to set this up as a new device or do you want to restore it? So let's go through this. So the first thing you want to do is you want to turn on your Nano Ledger X. So you press the right button to continue. And if you need to select, you actually press both buttons. You press this button and this button uh, together and then you continue. Okay, so you're just going to press the right button over here. Now you want to make sure that you have the latest um, software from Ledger Live. Um, as soon as you start Ledger Live, you're going to see the latest software in the top right corner and you can upload it and then here's your battery indicator status. You want to make sure this is fine. You could do it through Bluetooth, uh, these commands and everything and connect it to Ledger Live, but I wouldn't recommend doing anything from Bluetooth. The way I like to do things um, whenever possible or writing down phrases or whatever, I like to disconnect from the internet. I like to disconnect from Wi-Fi if I don't need the internet. So let's continue. So next we're going to press the right button. Now here you can browse left or right by just pressing the left and the right button, etc. And like this mentions, you can press both buttons to select. So you continue. Now you want to start Ledger Live and get assistance. Uh, during the setup you can, but I'm just going to walk you through everything. So now here's what you can do. The first option is set up as a new device, but you're going to skip this because we're not setting it up as a new device. We're either restoring it or having it as a backup. So what we're going to do next is press the right button here. Okay, see, this is the part that we want to select. We want to restore from a recovery phrase. And like I mentioned, you're going to have to have this. Now, um, there's many ways of storing this securely and safely. There's a lot of gadgets on Amazon that you'll see. But uh, like I mentioned, this is going to kind of be in my paid course that I'm going to be having in one of my membership courses. So uh, let's continue on here. So you're going to select restore from recovery phrase, and then you're going to select both buttons, press them at the same time. Now, this choose pin, pin code of four to eight digits. Now, what I like to do is I use the same pin code from my previous one. And if you don't know that um, and you don't have it stored securely, you could still continue because you could select another pin code. You can have different pin codes as well, but I like to keep the same pin code from my Nano Ledger S exactly like the Nano Ledger X and vice versa. So you choose your pin code, you go through it, you set it. Okay, so you press both of them. You enter your pin code. After you press your pin code, um, once you enter your pin code, it's going to ask you to confirm it. So the way you scroll left and right or up and down to go to number four, right now it shows number three. If you want to go to four, you just press this button. For four, if you want to go to two, you press this button. If you want to select that number, you press both of them if you wanted three to, to be there. And now if you wanted to erase and go back, right before the check mark box, all you want to do is select this. It's the back arrow. And once you back arrow, once you find this selection, all you want to do is press both buttons and it'll actually reverse and go back and it'll, it'll, it'll erase the last digit. So now it's going to ask you to confirm your PIN code so you enter your PIN code information again. So now it's going to ask you to enter your recovery phrase. Pull out your my recovery phrase. Now when it says enter your recovery phrase, you press both buttons to continue. Now you want to select the number of words written. So in seed recovery phrases, sometimes you have 12, sometimes you have 18, sometimes you have 24. It just really depends on that cold wallet manufacturer and etc. So now you press both buttons. Now you want to go up or down. So this, if you press this button, it's going to go down. You can select 24, 18, or 12. And I would recommend this because this is digital assets. I would always recommend 24 words. Kind of make it um, difficult and more secure 
when securing your, your ledger S or X. So now if you want to select 24 words, what you want to do is press both buttons. Okay, so now they make it pretty easy for you. Um, you'll start, let's say your first letter here is Pelican. It's going to select Pelican for you, or it's going to select, uh, once you select P, and then you put E, and then you put the L and the I, it's going to auto-populate the list of probably like three or four words that, that start with P-E-L, okay? Um, so then it's easier to scroll so they don't make it too difficult for you, at least as you can scroll through um, the selected words that start with P-E-L. And then obviously what you do is you would select the, the word, you'd scroll, you'd scroll left or right and select Pelican. So after you've got down to your 24th word, this, is, this will take a while when you're doing your backup. So you're going to have to be patient, um, especially if you're new to this. I was able to do it in less than half an hour, less than 15 minutes to restore. But if, if it's your first time, take your time, go through the words. Um, so once you get to the last word, the 24th word, you select both buttons and then it's going to say processing. Now it's processing everything on this ledger. So once you get into Ledger Live, you're gonna be able to see all of your Bitcoin and your Ethereum, et cetera. And if you had any ERC20 tokens, what you'd wanna do is um, use something like My Ether Wallet, so MEW, to see your custom ERC20 tokens because not all the time you can see your custom ERC20 to tokens. You have to use a program like My Ether Wallet. And if you want to know how to use my Ether Wallet, I do have a video on how to do that. Just go to my playlist and search for my Ether Wallet or MEW. So now it's going to say your device is ready. Now you can access your dashboard and press both buttons. But the first thing we want to do is get into Nano Ledger um, Live. Now you can install apps that you have here, right? Or what you can do is once you're into Nano Ledger Live, you could reinstall everything. So you can install um, Ethereum, what, whatever apps that you have, and then you can just go into your Nano Ledger S or X or in Nano Ledger Live and actually look at all your balances that they match. And um, it's pretty straightforward. Like I mentioned, it's very fast. It takes literally like you can do it. I, I usually do it, sometimes I restore it to three devices and I could do it in less than 10 minutes. So it's pretty fast, pretty easy. I always like to do it. I like to use the Nano Ledger X's now because the Nano Ledger S's, they don't hold a lot of, uh, a lot of custom tokens if you do have a lot of tokens. Like if you have BAT and you have Ethereum and you have Bitcoin and you have Kai and you have uh, Cardano so you need to install all of those apps right and sometimes they just don't fit on your Nano Ledger S so you may as well go to the Nano Ledger X so um, I, I do like Nano Ledgers they're my preferred wallet cold wallet just because um, it's easier it's not just left on your phone and usually I like to like set and forget so it kind of helps me from day trading and short trading and swing trading um, because I don't like to leave things on exchanges. The more times you leave things on exchanges because you want to trade or you want to swing trade a lot of things, you want to move uh, Bitcoin to here, Ethereum to buy this, um, Ethereum to buy and swap out for DOT or Polkadot. Um, you know, you just get into more trouble and you know, you're not playing the long-term HODL game, which I like to do, you know, and all of you guys know that uh, my favorite top two coins are, are VeChain and Sharing, and I don't like to um, touch those bags too much. So anyways, that is it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.